I, at this point, most respectfully invite the special guest of honor, once the podium is set, to make his remarks. Your Excellency, Mr. President. Sir. Please be seated. The Speaker, House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, the Deputy Senate President, Senator Barao Jibri, representing the Senate President. The former Senate President, Ahmad Lawa, Your Excellencies, Governors of Baeza, Delta, and Kano States, Honorable Ministers, Special Advisors, other members of the Federal Executive Council, Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, Service Chiefs and Head of other security agencies here present. The President and members of Military Sponsor Association here present, Distinguished senior officers, both serving and retired, family, friends, and associates of our deceased heroes, invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It is with every heart that I join you today to commend to us, the remains of our officers and men who died in the course of duty on 14th of March this year, 2024, in Okwema community in Delta State. The officers and soldiers who lost their lives that day were patriots, brave, and noble men who gave their lives to defend and protect our nation against internal and external threats. Their sacrifice will be remembered and honored for generations to come. On March 14th, Lieutenant Colonel H. A. H. Ali, the commanding officer of 181 Amphibious Battalion, led three other officers and 13 soldiers to Okwema community to mediate in lingering disputes with Okoloba community. They went on as peacekeepers and peacemakers, respectively, seeking to bring an end to the hostility between the two communities. They didn't go with tanks, machine guns, and other weapons. They were on 
a mission of peace. Before the Dastale attack, Edna Kone Ali, as I was known to be briefed by the Chief of Army Staff, enjoyed great operational exploits, fighting terrorists and insurgents in the Northeast and Northwest before his deployment to the Niger Delta. Ali kept faith with his military calling till the end on behalf of a grateful nation. We honor the sacrifice of Ali and the other gallant patriots who died that day. They will forever be remembered as heroes who answer the call of duty and paid the ultimate price. Major D. E. O. B. Major S. D. Ashafa, Captain U. Sakari, Staff Sergeant Yaya Seidu, Corporal Dambaba Yaya, Corporal Kabi Basu, Last Corporal Abdullah Ibrahim, Last Corporal Bulus Aruna, Lance Corporal so Sole of Payemi, Lance Corporal Belo Anas, Alaji, Private Alaji Isa, Private Clement Francis, Private Abubakar Ali, Private Adamu Ibrahim, Private Haman Peter, and Private Ibrahim Adamu. You are all our heroes. Each man now belongs to the hallowed list of service men and women who defended our country and protected their fellow Nigerians, not minding the risk to their own lives. They have all been awarded now. a posthumous national honor. The four gallant officers have been accorded the award of members of the Order of Niger, M-O-N. <clears throat> the 13 courageous soldiers who also lost their lives have been awarded the officers of the Federal Republic Medal. I commiserate with the families of our fallen heroes and the entire armed forces. I share in their pain and grief, the grief you carry today. It is my prayer that God will comfort all who are bereaved as a result of this tragedy. It is worth restating the depth of gratitude we hold these valiant soldiers and families. As Commander in Chief, I do not take the contribution of members of our armed forces for granted. I recognize your valor and bravery. I honor your unflinching commitment to making our country safe from criminals, bandits, kidnappers, and insurrectionists. While we continue to grieve for the courageous men we lost that day, let us also, on this solemn occasion, be reminded of the unfinished business of working for peace and harmony in our communities. We must begin to rebuild our communities 
and make them into places where love, tolerance, harmony will reign. Leaders at all levels, especially community leaders and traditional rulers, must work to strengthen the bonds that unite us. We must end the cycle of violence and bloodletting. I want to make it clear once more that those who committed this heinous crime will not go unpunished. We will find them and our departed heroes will get justice. The elders and chiefs of Okoma also have a duty to help the military in fishing out the government who committed the barbaric crime against our men. I wish also to commend our armed forces for their restraint in choosing not to carry out a repressive attack in Okoma or its neighboring communities. We must all ensure that the innocent people of the communities are not made to be to bear the punishment of the guilt and wicked among them. To the entire armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I have this message for you. Do not let the death of your compatriots discourage you. There is no higher honor than the vocation you have chosen to pursue. We cherish you, we cherish your labor and labor of love. We salute, salute your daily sacrifice in protecting your fellow citizens from danger. We have acknowledge your sacrifices to defend our country. Within our continent, our subregion and across the world, the Nigerian military has remained a force for good, embodying a great example and keeping our democracy safe. It is now our duty to protect the families of our departed heroes. The federal government will provide housing in any part of our country to each of the families of the four officers and 13 soldiers That's why among them, the federal government has also approved scholarship to all children of the disease up to university level. Including those who are in the womb. Dimitri, we appeal to you to within the next 90 days to ensure that all benefits of departed are paid to their families. May the families of departed and all the loved ones find strength to bear the pain of this loss. May God grant our heroes eternal rest. May God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and keep our troops safe. 
Thank you very much.